Hi, welcome to CrackingMBA.com. Today we're going to talk about ratio. We'll quickly talk about what a definition of a ratio is. We'll see how to solve some quick numericals, how to, what are the tips and how to you know, approach the questions related to ratio. And we'll solve some sample numericals just to get an idea of as to how to apply the concepts. Okay. So first of all, ratio. Ratio represents the number of times one quantity contains the other of the same kind. Right. So we're saying that if I have two entities and both are similar, then we can find the ratio of both those entities. For example, if I'm saying the number of apples in one basket and the apples in another basket is comparable and that is a ratio of 2 is to 7, correct? But we cannot say the ratio of the number of apples in one basket and the number of oranges in another basket because they are not similar entities. But however, we can always find the ratio of the number of fruits, okay, the quantity of fruits in one basket and the quantity of fruits in another basket, okay. Now, what those fruits consist of, we don't care as long as we're comparing the entity called the number of fruits, okay. So, hope that's clear. Let's move on and see how to calculate a ratio. So, ratio is basically calculated by removing all the common factors that are there between the two numbers for which we are calculating the ratio. So if you look at the example of on the right side is saying what is the ratio of 24 raised to 40, right? So we'll just seek in each iteration try to remove with all the common factors and arrive at the final set of values where there is no other common factor other than 1. So if you look at this, 24 by 40 is to 40 can be resolved as 12 is to 20, 6 is to 10 and finally 3 is to 5. So 3 is to 5 does not have, 3 and 5 don't have any other common factors other than 1. So the final ratio is 3 is to 5. So let's move on. Solving numericals. Okay, now having seen how to calculate a ratio, we'll see what are the tips to calculate a numerical. So we identified that we calculate the ratio by removing all the common factors. So if we want to solve numericals, the only, the one of the, one of the best ways is to identify some common factor as x and say if, if the number is, if the value of a ratio is a is to b, then let's assume the two values on two entities as ax and bx, right? So let's look at the example of the right side. So we are saying the salaries of four employees of a bank are the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 4 is to 5. So we don't know what the individual employee salaries are, but we know they are in the ratio. So what do we do? So we just multiply it by a common factor called x. So we assume that the values are 2x, 3x, 4x and 5x. So if they give the question saying the value of the lowest employee, the salary of the lowest employee uh, is uh, the lowest salary of all the employees is say 100. So then immediately we know 2x is equal to 100 because 2x is the lowest. Similarly, depending on whatever question comes, you can always answer it because you know approximately what the values are, right? Let's solve another numerical where Let's, let's now start solving the numericals, right? So let's see how we can apply the concept of a common factor being applied. So the salaries of Jack and Jill are the ratio 4 is to 5 and the total salary is 9,000. So like we discussed, we're going to say the salaries are 4x and 5x and the total is 9,000. So 4x plus 5x is 9,000. So x is equal to 1,000 and hence the salaries are 4,000 and 5,000. Let's move on. So here we look at a more abstract example. So here we don't have direct values and numericals. So we're saying the ratio of a is to b is 6 to 7. What is the value of 2a plus 3b divided by 4a plus 5b? So here, like again, our life becomes easy when we assume the values of as 6x and 7x. So what we're saying is 2a plus 3b is nothing but 27x. If we evaluate it on the right side, 4a plus 5b is nothing but 59x. So if we just do the ratio of both of them, that comes to around 27 is to 59. Okay. Let's just now look at how each that values that we assume can help us solve questions. So a bowl of pebbles is divided among four kids in the ratio of 5 is to 4 is to 3 is to 2 and the difference between the largest and the second largest share of pebbles is 10. Find the ratio, of the, find the total number of pebbles. So we like we discussed, let's assume them as 5x, 4x, 3x and 2x and the difference between the largest and second largest is 10. So 5x minus 4x is 10. So therefore x is equal to 10. And the total pebbles are 5x plus 4x plus 3x plus 2x, which is nothing but 140 pebbles. Now let us look at a slightly different question. So if a is to b is 4 is to 5 and b is to c is 4 is to 7, then find the value of a is to b is to c. So here we are observing that we are not directly, we cannot directly apply the same common factor of x across all. We cannot say a is to b is 4 is to 5 
So A and B are 4x, 5x, and B is to C is 4 and 7. So B, B is equal to 4, uh, 4x and C is equal to 7x. We cannot assume that. We can the, the factors would be different, correct? Could be different. So let's see how we can solve this. So A is to B is 4 is to 5. So we are saying A is equal to 4x and B is equal to 5x. B is to C is 4 is to 7. So B is equal to 4y and C is equal to 7y, where 7 is a different factor for that ratio. Now, what we need is A is to B is to C. So we say is 4x plus 5 is to 5x is to 7y because C is equal to 7y. But if you notice the ratio is between dissimilar entities. So x and y, you cannot calculate the ratio. So you need to convert y into x. So we know that b is equal to 5x and b is also equal to 4y. So we just equate 4, 5x is equal to 4y and then y is equal to 5 by 4x. So the ratio now becomes 4x is to 5x is to 5 by 4x or 16 is to 20 is to 5. Now let's look at a slightly more uh, varied question in terms of algebra, right? So here we are saying there are two numbers a and b, what should be added to each of the numbers so that the ratio becomes x is to y. So here again, we can just assume we already have the numbers a and b, we just need, suppose we assume the value is k, we just add k to both the uh, numbers and the ratio becomes a plus k by b plus k and we are saying that's equal to x by y. So then we do a cross multiplication and we get the equation, we try to solve it, we get the value of k. So that is what we need to add to each of the numbers a and b to get the value as value of the ratio as x is to y. So finally coming to the tips, the basic tips in this is that you need to be able to assume some values with a common factor, generate the required equation and then go ahead and solve the questions. If you are seeing some question where you cannot apply this in a typical ratio question, you can always reach out to us. Thank you.